What's up everybody? It's First Shift here. Uh, today I'm doing another request video that I've been asked to do and I uh, figured I'd do this the easiest way possible. There's other videos out there that show you how to do this but it's pretty complicated so I decided to make a video that's pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to do. Um, what I was asked to do is how do you theme your clock up on your springboard to a different color? seems easy enough so let's get started first thing you're going to need to do is go to your computer or PC and right click folder and create a new folder and name it what you like on your springboard and as you see I've done that name clock so once you've done that you'll get this info P list which I will have this and the more info section to download so once you've downloaded this put it into the new folder you made and this is what it's going to look like <clears throat> so as you see here timed style now time style is what you're going to use to theme your clock on your springboard you got your font the size and as you see here color in our case it's going to say hex value to change the hex value or what hex value is is the color you're going to use so to get that the first thing you'd want to do is go to Google or whatever you use and search for HTML codes color codes now that you just see right here HTML color codes you've done that it's going to give you here a whole bunch of choices of colors now to put those colors into your phone all you have to do is copy and paste this color code so you copy it and all you're going to do is paste it now once you pick the color you like and this is doing it as if you want a custom color. Let's say you just wanted blue, for example. All you type in is blue. And you see right there, blue. It's saved. Okay, now that you've done that, all you're going to do is SSH in your iPhone or iPod Touch. Again, this is on 3.0 firmware. So let's go and SSH. <clears throat> Enter our password. And all we're going to do is backspace once. Go down here to stash and themes. And go to your desktop or wherever you save your folder desktop is the best place find clock or whatever you named your folder in my case it is clock all I'm going to do is drag and drop into themes and copy it in there so once you've done that <clears throat> go ahead and exit out of your SSH and as you see here on winter board there's clock now let's put a color in there again you could do this two ways you could do it through your computer like I showed you by modifying the hex value inside of here and changing it to what you like again blue or whatever you like or if you want to do it directly on your iPhone or iPod touch all we'll have to do is go down here to iFile. iFile is an awesome application, by the way, if you don't have it. Let's start at the beginning. All we're going to do is backspace once. Slide down to Stash. Themes. And whatever folder we named it. Again, I named mine Clock. And right here you see is the info P list. Click on it. And right here, if you can see it, I don't know how clear it's going to be. 
it's going to be named time style so now that you named it time style or whatever you like let's go ahead and edit it get back into it there hit edit and name it what you like in my case I've already named it blue as you see right there I don't know how clear it is but it does say blue right there so after you named it, go ahead and save it. Done. And go ahead and respring your iPhone or iPod Touch. Again, the name of that is the time style to change your clock up there. So now you've uh, renamed it to blue or an X or to a code actually of what you'd like with um, HTML for you know like a custom color you're good to go so all you would need to do is go into your winter board which I have right here click clock exit out of it let winter board do its thing And as you see right there, we have a themed clock on 3.0 just by using Winterboard. So that way you don't have to mess with any of the stock plist files. You're doing it right through Winterboard. It could be easily removed or changed to whatever color you like. If you want me to change the color, it's simple enough. I'll go ahead and do that for you. <clears throat> leave it checked and we'll go back to our iFile and I'll do it through iFile go ahead and make a red for you just to show you, you can change the color right through iFile simple enough edit and I'm just going to change it from blue to red. After you've done that, go ahead and hit save, done, and respring. There you go. A theme status status uh, bar, excuse me, a themed status bar clock on 3.0 uh, using iFile or the computer. Either way you want to do it, you could do it. Um, again, I'll have a, a link for in the more info for the download for this to put in a folder, and all you have to do is put it into your winter board, and you could theme your clock on your springboard. It's real easy, not hard to do as you see. It's, pretty easy done and uh this first shift please rate comment and subscribe and uh follow me on facebook and if you have any questions go ahead and uh, email me do whatever message me whatever you like and uh, i'll get back to you as soon as possible and help you out any way possible it's first shift i'll check you later